Hey friends, Rusty Miner coming at you with a knife review. Been digging for some more gold lately. Found the Harns General Warrior. Not sure if it's the Harns General or it says on here, I think it says the Harns. Yeah, it says the Harns General. Uh, we have a green G10. It's nice, it's smooth but grippy. Uh, we do have a backspacer. Open frame construction, it does have some milling in there. Lanyard hole. Uh, backspacer goes all the way around. We got some jimping in the backspacer. Got a really big pocket clip. I had trouble putting this on, but it came off easily. J more jimping here. Blade is centered. Uh, more jimping. Jimping on the flipper tab. Uh, this one's running on washers and when i first got it it was failing a lot it was not did not have the lubrication i did take it apart washed the uh, washers with some warm soapy water i hit them with kpl they are a bronze washer uh, take a peek at the lock up put it back together and for having uh bearings it drops nice and it's got the flipper tab and thumb stud deployment I believe it has a titanium coated blade obviously a tanto point tanto tip and it's made from d2 steel nice swedge on there pretty thick blade flat grind and it comes down about as thin as you'd want it it's probably equivalent to the Civivi brazen uh, for thinness so big knife and when I say big I put it in my hand and we got leftovers we have jimping on the blade we have a little point like right there that's the top and we even have jimping what I've noticed if you get it in your hand and you use that jimping, gives you some leverage, kind of to push that out there. So really stretches your hand out though, and you can back up a little bit, use it like this. So pivot collar uh, does have a D-shaped uh, pivot ring. So we'll take a closer look. I got another knife I brought with me today, and we'll compare it when we get back to the truck. All right, thanks guys. Okay guys, and we're back. And we are taking a look at the Harns General. Now they also make a Harns Warrior. So again, I don't really know the difference. This is a Tonto. They also make a drop point. Maybe that's the difference. We're gonna compare this one today to the Six Leaf 01. Six Leaf is a knife I've showed before on my channel. Uh, these ones both come with green G10 and Tanto tips and they're big uh, this one I thought was a monster and now I have this one and it's well it's big so let's just see here kind of pivot to pivot blades a little thicker maybe uh, the grind on this one gets down a little more Let's see how the handles are looking. About the same, although the six leaf is contoured. So it actually, for me, has better ergos. Uh, this one has a huge pocket clip, and when you pull it, it kind of pinches the fat of my palm in there, but you can get a hold of it and not let go. Lock up, looks like it's Kind of coated and I believe these are coated in titanium. Uh, this one is stone washed. Good lock up on there. Good uh, milling in the liners. Uh, this one's running on bearings. So keep that in mind if you want to use these as work knives. Uh, bushings have a better reputation so to speak because less chance of getting clogged up. Uh, now this one does have a nice drop. It's not false shutty. 
needs a little help. Uh, it does have the thumb stud deployment. And then this one actually has, oh, I've done it before. Well, there you go. Kind of forgot where it was. I guess we got that, that hole there. Uh, I'm out in the field still, so don't have my uh, foam peanuts. I do have an expired Hardee's coupons. So whenever you cut coupons, you want to make sure they're expired. All right, this is a good test because it's kind of a thin paper. Uh, this is Factory Edge. Oh. All right, and I'm just push cutting there. Now I'm slicing. Took a while to get started. Let's double it up on the fold. Oh yeah. All right, so that would be considered sharp. And in my opinion, I'm not messing with this one. Uh, again, probably thinner than my Civivi, but a knife like this, you're going to be doing more, uh, you know, pushing and, you know, not, not any fine work with this. This is too big to barely be, um, you know, slicing stuff up. I think you could feather stick if you wanted. Uh, but one thing I did want to take a peek is that stop pin. And it is just enough... Just big enough for me not to complain. A knife like this, you want a big stop pin as well. You know, it's designed to use hard. Thanks, guys. Bye. And look at me. I went and put my tripod away and everything. I wanted to show you guys a nice nylon pouch that came with this. Because it is so big, it's nice to have uh, something else to carry with. Carry it on your belt here. Holds it pretty firm, and like I said, I got my tripod put away. One thing it doesn't do is allow you to get it in there with, uh, you know, tip down. Seems like you're going to carry it one of two ways in there. But it's formed pretty good. It's made out of some nice material. It buttons on back here to allow you to get it on and off without taking your belt off. So, oh, and by the way, the Harns is $36, and the Six Leaf is $36 as well. So, very comparable knives.